I, and I wanted to write this down to kind of give you context and numbers. Okay. You know, this year so far, um, we did five deals totaling 40K. Awesome. These are, these are deals that have closed. Okay. Um, I have one, two, three, four at escrow right now. And that should be 29, 30, 40, 50. That should be 60K. And okay. if these, these all have cash buyers that have bought. So like, we've got the seller, we got an agreement, we got the buyer in place. We're literally just waiting for title to finish on Oh, so it's a, they're, they're done. So as of right now, let me just, let me just get this right. So as of right now, you've done eight deals for about $40,000. Is that right? Uh, five deals have been complete for sorry, for five deals for forty thousand dollars around an average of eight thousand dollars a deal. Yeah. Okay. So so you completed five deals for forty thousand dollars already. Correct. Okay. Awesome. And how did you find those buyers? I mean those those sellers. What was the, what was the marketing strategy you were using? So for the ones that have. <laughs> They're all different. <laughs> okay. So, uh, first deal was a bandit sign. The, I stopped putting bandit signs out, and the guy called me three weeks later for my bandit sign number. Okay. That I had for real. So first one's a bandit sign. What was the spread on that one? That, actually, the first two were bandit signs. First two, so, okay. One was five grand. That was like the first deal that I – the first post was that. Okay. That was five grand. That was a bandit sign. Awesome. And then what was the second one? Now, the second one was a seller financing. This was actually my very, very first, very first deal. I put out like four bandit signs. That was a seller financing on a condo I bought for, I think we paid some taxes off. So I think out of pocket, I paid maybe 12 grand. But that was a bandit sign? Yeah, that was a bandit sign. Okay, but that was a seller financing deal, okay? Awesome. Okay. And then the next deal was absentee owner RVM. Okay. And how much was that one for? That one was fifteen five. Fifteen thousand five hundred. Yep. So RVM, and he used the absentee owner list. Did you stack it with another list? No, that was just straight RT. That was straight uh, RVM from list. Okay. Uh, thirty percent, at least thirty percent equity. Um, and I'm, I'm operating in two counties, so it was just 30 percent or we with both. Perfect. So a little bit of a stack there, I like that. So 15,500 using RVM, absentee owner with 30 percent equity. Okay. What was your fourth deal? The fourth one was, was cold violation. That was cold calling. Okay. How much was that one for? That one was twelve five. Okay, and that one's cold calling for code violation, right? We got different type of code violations. This one was actually considered a vacant violation. Okay, vacant. Okay. Yeah. How'd you find that list? Through uh, my city website, uh, it's very hard to find. So, you know, I call people downtown and, mm -hmm. you know, speak to them and tell them how important they are. And me, that worked for the city for 10 years, I kind of, you know, like I said, try to build that, <laughs> that rapport with them. Yeah. And they sent me a link. They literally just sent me a link to my email and just said, they sent me the link. They sent me the steps. You know, it shows you how and how to pull based on what you're looking for. Okay. So it's, it's, to me, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of wired different. Like, the more difficult it is, the more assessed I become with it. Well, a lot of times, those harder to find lists are the most lucrative, too. Yeah. Yeah, and I got two deals from that one. Oh, there's a second deal from that one? Yeah. And there's how much is that one? The second one was seven grand. Same list. Seven grand. Same list? Listen. The first code violation, it was actually not the property that was on the list. They had another one. Okay. But it was still cold calling? Yeah, it was still cold calling. Okay. And code violation. Okay, let me add this real quick. So we got $5,000 plus $5,000 plus 15500 
plus 12,500 plus 7,000. Dude, that's uh, 45,000, bro. Oh, hey, man, I got public school math. No, that's great. <laughs> that's awesome. No, but, but so, but here's a couple things that I like is when I got some specialty list, right? And just those two specialty lists got you 19,500. Those two right here, right? You know? Yeah, yeah. And then using the RVM. Now, the band assigned probably takes a little more work to put out, you know, drying, but, but the cost isn't that high, is it? No, man. To be honest, I think I might have – that's when I first, first started. Like, when I first yeah. – and I think I probably put out all together probably 24 band assigns. That's awesome. You don't have to have a humongous list of motivated sellers, but once you get that targeted list, then you're going at it in multiple ways, and I love that. Yeah, just go deep. That's what I told myself. Just go yeah. deep. That's awesome. So forty five thousand five deals. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, bro.